migrating your remote access clients from IPsec to SSL VM, VPN. Why would your enterprise do this? Well, first of all, let's ease end user uh, usage. And what I mean by that is the IPsec client, though uh, many iterations, it, is, a, is very improved. It is, it is a thick client and there is uh, difficulties in education and uh, deployment of this client. The web browser is the universal thin client and that is the beauty of the SSL VPN. And of course, given that it is 2008 and budgets are a very, very keen interest all across the board, a uh, lower admin cost is associated with the SSL VPN. And this is definitely true with the Cisco ASA product. Um, lastly is the mobility factor. Um, many enterprises want the VPN um, usage to work not just at the proprietary machine that's deployed by the uh, enterprise, but also at other machines as well. And uh, the secure of ASA SSL VPN solution does allow that. The pain points, of course, are how do we transition these users? They've been using IPsec, how do we get them over to SSL VPN? How do we do the education? And what's really going to be talked about this and demoed extensively is how do we issue one set of credentials in one mannerism to the IPsec users and then reutilize those credentials for the ASA SSL VPN authentication. Very, very unique technology and solution here. Uh, lastly is any components that we utilize, not only in the IPsec component and in the authentication and in the migration, should be utilized in, during the final solution. And you'll see this is pretty slick, how we, these solutions and the same components are utilized along the process. Um, of course, before we go on, why do people not migrate? Well, the, 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 one of the ma main reasons people have not all migrated to SSL VPN, there is a, some perceived um, issues around, around SSL VPN. And I think you'll see that the Cisco SSL VPN with the multi-factor secure auth solution effectively addresses all of these issues. And let's start with security. One of the main issues people have with the uh, SSL VPN is that, Garrett, what you're, you're having here is that now you're saying any web browser in the world can access my enterprise. And that is true, that that is what an SSL VPN is, is basically making that, um, it, making a URL out of your remote access. Well, then we need to address the same issues that aren't being addressed that great out there in the web world, which is, uh, man in the middle attacks, replay attacks, phishing attacks, uh, keylogger, etc., etc. These issues you'll see in our product are addressed uniquely, utilizing the features of the bilateral client-server authentication that we can conduct with the built-in abilities of the Cisco ASA product. Um, the next one is cost, and the cost is well, Garrett. What is the cost of these? Um, um, ASAs and your secure off solution. And you will see in this presentation that the SSL VPN plus our solution is, is often much less than a comparable IPsec or other SSL VPN solution and a, uh, a, a hard token, which is usually what is being deployed out there for VPN access. And difficult in migration. Hopefully you'll see in this presentation that the difficult migration is mitigated. Um, as, as discussed, our product does, and that is the genius of the multi-factor secure auth solution, already deployed to over 150 financial institutions on the web and now being deployed to multiple uh, VPN installation sites. What's relevant about our solution is we are a unique way to secu securely push out an X509 private public key pair. That's a lot of words, but what is relevant is that private public key pair is utilized in the strongest authentication available, which is a, a, a cert-based authentication, which algorithmically can, can be proven to authenticate not only the user, but the user authenticating the server. And that is what stops those man in the middle replay attacks. Cost, well, that's what matters in 2008. Those hard tokens, guys, I don't care if they're from RSA, VeriSign, et cetera, are not cheap. Our solution comes uh, comes down to usually about a quarter of the cost of that. And migration for the users, 
school, you're going to watch something in, in this demo. It's, it's amazing what we can do. Not only pushing out <coughs> new profiles for the IPsec, but pushing out credentials to the end user without infringing an end, end user's knowledge or, or educating them and putting those key stores, <coughs> excuse me, exactly where the Cisco products are looking for those key stores. And that's unique in our solution. <coughs> 